beautiful friends, namaste, Spirit Man, Joseph Tittle here with you today, August 10th, 2011, when I'm recording this, out midnight on the 11th of August, 2018, with your August, September, 2018, energy update and predictions. I am very grateful that you have joined me once again today. I am here to tell you a little bit about this shift of energy that we've been in. I talked about it in my full moon cycle video back in early July before I went to Peru, but now we're about to go into the next new cycle on August 11th, the rebirth cycle. This whole time period that we just came out of was a time period that was all about purging and letting go, bringing up things emotionally. You may notice a lot of people have had health issues during the past two months. I have friends that are doctors. And I told them they were going to get overwhelmed. Hospitals would get overwhelmed. And that is because every health issue, every disease is connected to an emotional cause. Once we get to the emotional cause of the disease, we can actually attack the emotional cause, work on that, use positive affirmations, and actually heal ourselves naturally. Beings that this purge is all about letting go of things, especially physically, energetically, and emotionally, and things emotionally connected to disease, those unwilling to go through those emotional cycles, those who do want to keep suppressing things, are going to be told by their body that they're doing so. Very important cycle for all of us, for us personally, and when it comes to us on a universal level. This is a big time of change in the world, folks. And we are about to see changes like never before. So challenging with the emotions and all these things coming up for us, uh, a lot of memories from the past. You may be running into old adversaries from the past. You may be running into old exes from the past. Anything that we haven't dealt with on an emotional level is going to come to the surface. Especially if you are willing and put out the intention every day that you are ready, willing, and able, and capable with ease and joy of eliminating all things that are blocking you from your fullest potential physically, energetically, emotionally. Doing so, the universe will make it very clear to you what you need to do on your own. Energetic, emotional stuff, universe will help you with. But tomorrow, or today, the 11th of August, is the rebirth cycle. It's the third eclipse in a row. It's a partial solar eclipse in this big cycle that we're in, bringing us out of the Mercury retrograde into the post-shadow of the retrograde, completing the entire cycle on September 2nd. So I highly recommend that every new moon, but especially if you can get this in time for the new moon on the 11th, to sit down and write yourself a list of things that you would like to manifest and bring into the rebirth cycle, whether it be a new car, a new opportunity career or business-wise, a new flow of money in abundance, new friendships or relationships, whatever it may be light a white candle to represent the purity and of the full moon new moon cycle you can even do a black and a white to represent the light moon and the dark moon write down all your intentions all your goals all the things you want to manifest read that off to the universe thank you universe for helping me to manifest the following things with ease and joy Read off your list, fold it up, put it under your candle, let your candle burn out, and it'll totally take advantage of this new moon cycle and this rebirth cycle we're going into. Keep in mind, folks, it's an 11 day. August 11th is an 11 day. If you followed me on my radio show and my dear friend, the amazing numerologist Allison Ballman from VisibleByNumbers.com, me at JosephTittle.com, you'll know that the 11 days, which is the 11th and the 29th of every month, usually bring on bad things when it comes to things globally. Look at 9-11 and the incident that happened that. Add the 9, the 1, and the 1, you got another 11. Hurricane Katrina came in on 11 day. Hurricane Sandy came in on the 29th, an 11 day. So I would expect something huge on a possible cat 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 catastrophic event to take place with Mother Earth and her purge, like the volcano in Hawaii, to happen on the 11th beginning on August 11th. So whether it be a big volcanic eruption that we haven't seen before, again, like that of in Hawaii, whether it be a big earthquake or some other kind of event, I would definitely expect something huge to happen on the 11th of this month of August and probably also repeating itself on the 11th of next month, September. So as sad as it is, the number 11 can bring on destructive behavior. So I would expect that in the area of politics and military decisions over the next day and over the next month, possibly bringing on a new attack towards a new country maybe even something like a chemical attack. These things are gonna happen as we are still in this cycle. Remember, this is all to point things out to us clearly as to what no longer serves our purpose that blocks us from our joy and happiness. War blocks us from our joy and happiness. 
Mother Earth purging with her uh, purging uh, of the earthquakes and the volcanoes is there to point out that there really is a problem with climate. And then when it comes to your personal life, of course, things are going to be pointed out to you very, very clearly as to what no longer brings you joy and happiness, what no longer serves your higher purpose, whether it be a friendship, whether it be the relationship that you're in, whether it be family members that you need to unplug from and disconnect from, whether it be your job, the residence of where you live, these are going to hit you and it's going to hit you hard and make you feel very overwhelmed as you probably already know from me saying this because of the past two months in the cycle we've been in. Not only that, we're going to see huge events taking place in the world. Sadly, the 11 day tomorrow on, on August, I would expect that there could be some type of big terroristic attack that happens somewhere throughout the world. Most likely Paris, possibly even Russia, because of what's going on in Russia, and even China. They would be the three that are probably the most biggest targets right now. United States is in that list too, but I don't know if they'll succeed with getting the United States quite yet. But maybe towards the fall, towards the holiday season, we can expect that to happen, especially in the areas of malls and where people shop. Once we're able to identify those things that no longer bring us joy and happiness and we're overwhelmed with it, the way Spirit has shown me, and I find this to be a great metaphoric example, Spirit has told me that the whole planet Earth and all of Mother Earth's children, including the animals, are right now in the birthing process. And think about giving birth and being caught up in the birth canal. It is no fun whatsoever, especially for those that are giving that birth. But the outcome and the beautiful life that comes afterwards is amazing. And that's what you need to focus on. Focus on eliminating what needs to be eliminated, being willing to do so, so the universe can make that easy and help you to assist you in doing so. And then focus more than anything on what it is you want, not what you don't want. One of the things I've learned the most out of working really hard on the law of attraction and manifesting is that we focus so much on what we don't want all the time instead of what we want. Law of Attraction is going to give you what you focus on, whether it's what you want or what you don't want. That's why you need to focus on what you want, whether it be friendships, what you expect from your friends and what you would expect in return from your friends and your friendships so that you can have more friendships that are fulfilling and joyful for you. Perhaps what it may be in your daily life for your career that you would like and focusing on what you would like to get out of that on a daily basis. Don't focus so much on how that's going to be possible, how you're going to make that happen, or how that's just so not easy. Because when you say it's not easy, the universe says, oh yeah, it's not easy. Oh, I'm going to make it harder than you even think it is to be. So no more of this. It's time to change our thinking. It's time to do things differently. Whatever we're doing is not working anymore. Obviously, in all aspects of our lives. Let's take the world, for example. The monetary system is not working for us anymore more and only works for the 1%. The government does not work for us anymore. Medical and pharmaceutical does not work for us anymore. It works against us. What's that mean? It's all going to collapse. And it has been collapsing, slowly but surely collapsing. And in order for that to happen, again, like the birth cycle, it's going to hurt for hell, like hell for some people, but the outcome is going to be beautiful new life. That's why I know that there's going to be a change that comes with the monetary system and the way we do things with money. But remember, we have a fight between the darkness and the light. And the darkness is always going to try to take over as it's been controlling everything for so long. Well, that's about to end too, my friends. It's about to end. It's time to do things differently. Going back to our personal lives, career and business, very, very important. When it comes to business and career, again, there's no more standstill. There's no more stagnation. It's either step backwards or move forwards. What do you prefer? As of January of this year, with the two alignments of Capricorn and Jupiter and Venus, I believe, that means that this is the first three years of this process, 2018, 19, and 20, is the most important period of all when it comes to this alignment. All about business and career and money. So therefore, if you're willing to work harder than you've ever worked in your life to do things differently and incorporate new and different things into your career, or at least be willing to, you don't have to sit and think, well, how can I do this differently? And I don't know how I can do this differently. And what can I do different? No, that's trying too hard. Instead, let the universe guide you with that by just putting out the intention that you're ready, willing, and able to do things differently. Thank you, universe, for showing me with clarity, ease, and joy what I can do differently and incorporate new and different into my career and business to take me to a level above and beyond anything I could have ever dreamed of, a joy, happiness, and abundance.
So to keep this as short as possible so that I can move on to some other amazing videos, we are going to see over the next few months a big new movement take place, kind of like the Me Too movement. There's going to be things that are going to come to light, truth that's going to come to a light, about the round Russian, the whole Russian thing, of course around Donald Trump, and around a whole bunch of other things with government. Everything's about to be unleashed. Like never before. It's exciting, folks. I know it feels a little suppressed, a little, a little, a little difficult or challenging at times. But again, focus on not being challenging. Focus on the fact that it doesn't have to be hard. It can actually be easy. We just make things harder again in the law of attraction by focusing on that. So expect those big movements. Watch that media because there's more truth that's going to be revolved around the media. Censorship. That's a big thing right now. Look at what they did to the Alex Jones channel. Whether you like them or not, it doesn't matter. They don't have a right to censor him. He has a right to speak just like the rest of us. I'm waiting for them to put a censor on me like they did on New Year's Day with my predictions and how I was blocked from YouTube, me and a whole bunch of other people. Very interesting. So this is all going to hit big time, folks. Watch where you're getting your news from. It's all to throw you out of balance, to keep you in this suppression, to keep you enslaved. And it's time for that to stop. And they know it's happening. That's the exciting part about this. They know that they're losing control. They know that the Luciferian Illuminati is about to collapse and fall. The earth is about to shift. An amazing new life is about to take place as we enter into the Aquarian age and as we enter into the new earth nation. Very excited about it. Stay focused, folks. Don't let anything throw you out of focus. Those things that are throwing you out of focus, throw them out of your life. Time to take out the garbage, folks. It's time to take out that garbage. Remember, this cycle ends September 2nd. From the 3rd till the 27th of October, we're in, in the rebirth cycle even more so, especially not after this new moon on the 11th of August, but the new moon in September, going to be major rebirth. Probably that movement will start to come into fruition on the planet of people gathering together, people protesting, people really getting ready to fight, fight for what we believe in and believing in being happy and joyful together as one. Those that won't want to join us are going to be the ones that fall. So with that all said, my beautiful friends, I want to give you a moment again to thank you for taking time to watch my videos. Please be sure to subscribe down below to my YouTube channel so you can get updates on new videos. I've been trying to space as much time as I can in creating new videos, doing top 10 predictions and such for you, bringing you monthly updates, and hopefully by the fall, live events on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. So again, thank you so much with infinite love and gratitude. May you enjoy the rest of your summer months here in the Northern Hemisphere and the winter months down there in the Southern Hemisphere. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Love you lots. Have a beautiful, amazing day. Remember to celebrate you, celebrate life, nurture and nourish yourself. And you won't go wrong. Have a beautiful day.